Let's talk about the upcoming Harry Potter series. So when it comes to JK Rowling, her name carries a lot of controversy due to her stance and comments on social media due to the trans movement. So a lot of people were speculating that she may not have much involvement on the TV show from fear of backlash from the fan base, but it looks like now we know the exact level of involvement that she will have on this upcoming Harry Potter series. So let's break down this article here. Let's jump in, find out the details and see exactly how JK Rowling will be involved in the upcoming show. So this comes to us from Bounding Into Comics. HBO boss confirms JK Rowling has been fairly involved in the Harry Potter TV series production, says her views on the transgender issues have had no effect on ability to find cast or crew. So this is great. Regardless of her stance on the transgender and the politics surrounding it, it looks like it hasn't put anybody off from wanting to join this series, this project, from behind the camera, from in front of the camera. It doesn't look like they've uh, struggled to find any cast and crew, which is great because I wouldn't want it to have a knock-on effect to this show. I wouldn't want it to affect it. I want this show to be the best thing it can possibly be. And it doesn't look like anybody here has been put off by her kind of controversial comments on the transgender movement. So let's go down, let's break down these details and let's see what JK Rowling is gonna be doing on this show. So in providing a brief update that will undoubtedly come as a welcome news to fans of The Boy Wizard, HBO chairman and CEO Casey Bloys has confirmed that not only has creator JK Rowling been fairly involved in the upcoming Harry, uh, in the upcoming Harry Potter TV series, sorry, but also that its production has been in no way affected by her personal views on various transgender issues. Yeah, I mean, if you go on social media, especially the X platform, um, I follow JK Rowling on there because I'm interested in some of the things that she says, but every single time I log on to social media, I see a comment from JK Rowling arguing or fighting with people online about the transgender movement. She has very, very controversial, strong views. Whether you support her or you disagree with the things that she says, you have to admit her name carries so much controversy. Remember when Hogwarts Legacy, the game was coming out? When it first debuted in the first week that the game released, on social media, it's all everybody was talking about, arguing amongst each other because if they didn't want to buy the game, they didn't want to put money in JK Rowling's pocket because of her controversial views. But the game came out, and regardless of the discourse, the game went on to sell millions and millions and millions of copies, and ultimately it was a smash hit and made tons and tons of money. And I think the exact same thing is going to happen with this show. Ultimately, when this show first comes out, the discourse is going to pick up again online about the controversy in JK Rowling. But I think ultimately, the fan base is so big, so passionate for the Harry Potter IP that this show is going to do incredibly, incredibly well. That's what I predict anyway, guys. So, um, where were we? So, um, going back down here. So, Blows, um, who also serves as the chairman and CEO of Max, spoke to Rowling's involvement in the upcoming TV adaptation of a famous book series, during a November 12th Warner Brothers press conference held in promotion of the company's upcoming production slate. So as recapped by IGN's Alex Stedman, at one point fielding questions from attendees, Bloys was pressed by a currently unidentified reporter as to both how Rowling was in the Harry Potter series production and whether the author's passionate views about the trans issues had caused any problems in its inability to find its cast. So it looks like reporters are catching on to the fact that JK Rowling will be involved. They're pressing, um, you know, the executives over at Warner Brothers. They want to know information about how she's involved and uh, do they have any issues with her views on the transgender issue. And um, I think Warner Brothers have been quite tight-lipped. They don't want to get involved. They don't want to get sucked into that vacuum of discourse because no matter what they say, they can come out in support of J.K. Rowling. They can come out and disagree with J.K. Rowling. No matter what they say, Warner Brothers and the executives, if they put out statements about this, they're going to get caught up in this issue and um, it's just not going to look good for them. So it's best for them to sort of um, play it down the middle, be neutral, try not to say anything, just get on with the show, make the best show possible and try not to get sucked into that vacuum of discourse around J.K. Uh, JK Rowling. So beginning with the reporter's first question, Blois answered in turn, quote, she's been fairly involved. She was very involved in the process of selecting the writer and director, and I imagine she'll have opinions on casting. So it says that she's been fairly involved. I wouldn't say that's fairly involved. I would say that's massively involved. She was in the process of selecting the writer and director. The two main pillars of what's going to make this show success or fail um, succeed or fail, I should say. Um, the writer, obviously the person behind the camera, writing the episodes, making sure the narrative flows, making sure it makes sense, you know, making sure the, the books are adapted properly. Ultimately, the, the a show is going to succeed or fail on the writing. 
You know, you can have a bad director, you can have bad acting, but if the writing is good, it can ultimately save the show. But um, yeah, the writer and director, JK Rowling choosing them, that's massively being involved. So, and uh, I imagine she'll have opinions on casting. Absolutely, she's going to she's gonna have the final say on who's going to be cast as Hermione, um, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, and Harry Potter. Of course, she's going to have a say, um, you know, going forward on that casting there. So, moving to the second question. The CEO affirmed that Rowling's reputation as a vocal critic of the transgender politics hasn't affected the casting or hiring of writers and production staff, so we haven't felt an impact from that. So this is great. So even though she has these controversial views on the transgender movement, it doesn't seem like it's put anybody off from behind the camera or in front of the camera with wanting to get interested in taking part in this project, which is great. I don't want it to have an effect. I want to get the best writers, the best showrunners. I want to get the best actors for the job. And it doesn't look like anybody's been put off. Nobody's come out and uh, kind of bashed the show for having JK Rowling involved. So it doesn't look like it's had any knock-on effects, which is great to hear as a fan. So, notably, uh, Bloy's recent comments are in line with the ones he gave on the subject following the initial announcement of the Harry Potter series being greenlit. Per Variety's uh, Angelic Jackson, when asked during a Q&A uh, session held with members of the press following Warner Brothers' 2023 Investors Day presentation, whether he had any concerns regarding the potential impact of Rowling's views that may have on the series production, Bloys declined to comment, asserting, no, I don't think this is the forum. So yeah, it looks like Warner Brothers executives, whenever they come up with a, come up against a question from a reporter about JK Rowling's comments, it looks like they're going to kind of deflect and just not talk about it, which I think is the best thing to do. Um, you don't want to come out in support of JK Rowling, you don't want to come out against JK Rowling, because like I say, no matter what you say, you're going to upset some of the fan base with any of your comments that you say on this issue. It's such a hot button issue in today's politics and um, there is no right answer. So you're better off just not saying anything. Get on with the show. Make the best show possible. Hire the best actors, the best writers, the best showrunners and uh, do what you can with the show and just don't get sucked into the discourse of this uh, JK Rowling controversy. So, uh, I already read that bit. Um, that's a very online conversation, very nuanced and complicated, and not something we're going to get into. That's absolutely the right statement to say. Look, that's online discourse. People can go online. They can argue with JK Rowling. She's on social media. You can message her. You can tag her. If you want to spend your time arguing with her comments, you know, you can do that. Tag her, comment, you know, do whatever you want um, online. But, you know, in the real world here, not in the digital world, we're going to make the best show. We're not going to get involved with that. If you want to get involved, that's up to people if they want to do that. But um, yeah, that was the right comment to make here, saying that we're not going to get in, we're not going to get into it. Um, so our priority is what's on the screen. Absolutely, it should be. Um, he told attendees, obviously, the Harry Potter story is incredibly affirmative and positive about love and self-acceptance. That's our priority. What's on screen? Again, another great comment to make. Look, we're not going to get involved. Our passion, our kind of um, our focus is going to be what's on the screen, putting out the best product possible. We're not going to get involved in the discourse because ultimately nothing good can come from it. So turning to the show itself, Bloy's detailed, quote, Rowling will be involved. She's an executive producer on the show. Her insights are going to be helpful on that. Of course, she's going to be a executive producer. She's the mastermind behind this whole universe. She created all the characters, all the narrative, all the story, everything going on with it all the creatures, characters, everything you can think of to do with Harry Potter came from her. So of course she's going to be a producer on this show and she's going to have comments, opinions, says on what's going on, you know, behind the scenes. A lot of people suspected that Warner Brothers would shy away from having JK Rowling involved with this show. I think they were kidding themselves. JK Rowling created the entire book series, everything to do with Harry Potter, and you think that she was going to have no involvement with this show? absolutely ridiculous i think people were kidding themselves of course she was going to be heavily involved i mean this show is based on her books they're going to want her feedback her opinions her input and uh, to think that warner brothers would shy away from having her involved i think people were living in a fantasy land so the tv show is new and we're excited about that but remember we've been in the potter business for 20 years he concluded this is not a new decision for us we're very comfortable being in the potter business one of the biggest ips in the world one of the most recognizable one of the most um you know money rich ips that there is this show could potentially be one of the biggest shows if not the biggest show ever put out it's harry potter it's going to be absolutely huge can it be bigger than game of game of thrones i'm not really sure but it could be right up there with Game of Thrones as being one of the biggest shows ever made. And I think it will be. 
So, at current, outside of the fact that it exists and will be written by Succession producer Francesca Gardner, the fact that it's written by Succession producer Frances, uh, Francesca Gardner, that's something to be excited about. She has a really good track record. Warner Brothers has yet to publicly detail any information regarding the Harry Potter series production. So yeah, they put out a casting call a few weeks back. I made a video about it. They put out a casting call asking uh, children from the ages of 9 to 11 to do a video recording, like an online video recording um, kind of audition where you could send in the tape. You have to do like a monologue if you're in the age bracket of 9 to 11. You can send it into the producers and if they like you, they will give you a call back and uh, potentially cast you in the, in the role of Hermione, uh, Ron Weasley or um, Harry Potter. That's the casting call they were looking for. So if you're in that age bracket or you know someone in your family who's between the ages of 9 and 11 and wants to audition, um, you can go online, just Google like um, Harry Potter series casting call and you'll find the link for it. So it's an exciting time. But guys, so the level of involvement of J.K. Rowling is very, very heavy on the show. She's choosing the writer, the director. She's going to have a say on the casting as well. So for people who thought that she would have no involvement, they were kidding themselves. They were living in a fantasy world that they thought that J.K. Rowling would have no involvement because of her uh, controversial comments. That's just not the case. It's the complete opposite. She's heavily, heavily involved as an executive producer. So I throw it off to you. What do you think about J.K. Rowling being involved? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? And uh, I would just love to hear your comments because it's such a controversial topic. Um, obviously, the transgender movement and J.K. Rowling's social media comments regarding it. So I would love to hear your input and what you think about this story. So guys, jump into the comment section. We'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, and opinions. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in the next video.